What's going on guys, Mr. Domo here back again, and I'm doing something new. Uh, this is obviously Mr. Domo's Toys eBay finds. I usually don't do videos on purchases that I make on eBay if I'm finding certain things for my collection or especially my focus collection like Star Wars. Uh, if I, you know, get stuff that's graded already or whatnot, I usually don't do a video showing you, hey, this is what I got from eBay. Uh, so I'm doing something totally different. Obviously, that's the reason why you're staring at this box and you're just like, what the hell? Uh, so yeah. Uh, this is new uh, obviously so pretty much it's kind of like a surprise unboxing video uh, just showing you what I found on eBay and like I said these are totally things that uh, obviously uh, for me my personal collection uh, what I'm looking at or sometimes I see like things that are like in great it's a great deal so I'm like dude I gotta jump on that uh, and then sometimes there you know there's items that I'll just watch for a while and I just kind of wait to see if the price drops because sometimes people just you know they asking for like hundreds and hundreds of dollars for like crazy figures and you're like why well, you know it's, it's just nuts anyways uh, so here it is here's the box obviously I took the shipping label off to protect the buyer myself and then of course the seller uh, so all I did was just pretty much open it so this is what we got like I said, it's pretty much a surprise unboxing. I'm not even gonna label uh, the videos as what it could be. Uh, so here we have the item here and it's all in this funky shredded paper. Uh, very interesting a way of packaging it, but hey, it works, right? So let's get this box out of the way here. And of course, uh, here it's all wrapped up. And let's just see what we have here. man all right man that was pretty damn messy so here we go man all right so <laughs> i ended up getting a ronin warriors this is by playmates a 1995 i want to say 1995 playmates uh ronin warriors action figure and of course i got sage the ronin warrior of wisdom now i'm a huge fan of this show uh you might not uh, might not be or you might never heard of the show but I, I i absolutely love this show and so the reason why i got this guy it was because i've never owned one of these before as a kid i always wanted one even when the show started to premiere in 1995 i think it came to the u.s in 1995 uh the original anime pretty much the same series but it, in you know it was in japan released back in 1988 and then at that same time they did their own figures uh you know bandai in 1988 that was pretty much the same figures but obviously they incorporated you know die cast with plastic these are all plastic all right so these are all plastic but here we have sage the warrior of wisdom and then of course he's got his armor set so they were like pretty much they have these cool mystical armors really really awesome his specialty he had this super crazy attack called thunderbolt cut really really awesome i believe the japanese toys were called legendary armor samurai troopers or something crazy like that but as you can see uh here it is man really really awesome and as you can see man look at that look at the price they, it was 9.99 and then it dropped down to 3.99 from kb toy stores that is ridiculous so obviously not like a crazy item not like it was in high demand or anything like that like i said i mean you know uh there there's some fans out there on the show and then of course you know you have pretty much all the characters uh, but there's another reason why I picked this guy. Obviously, he has his bio card. Uh, Ryo is pretty much the main character or the main person, you know, the leader of these uh, Ronin warriors. So you pretty much have one, two, three, four, five of them. Uh, and then, of course, the hero uh, armor Inferno was pretty much the armor that combined all these guys. Uh, you have to watch the show. Uh, but anywho, the reason why I got this guy is because uh, I ended up picking up this was like months ago but i ended up picking up this dude right here uh ryo from you know obviously ronin warriors and this is the sentai uh version that came out uh i want to say early this year beautiful figure man really really awesome figure and so i fell in love with it but at the same time i wanted to get the originals kind of paired up to what we have now as a modern day this is a really really awesome gorgeous uh figure i didn't do a review on it because i just uh i got it kind of late and everybody had already posted their reviews and pretty much i kind of wanted to spend time playing with it but anyways this is a gorgeous piece and so now uh we have 
the other character here, which is Sage, who is actually the next character in the Sentai, uh, you know, toy line that's going to be coming out later uh, next year, which is 2021. So that's the reason why. I still need to find uh, Ryu because he's obviously, I already have him, but I don't have the original Ryu. So I need to find that. But anywho, there he is. I am gonna bust him out out of the uh, this you know card back and everything. I'm not gonna grade it because obviously the card back's damaged, and this is the reason why I picked it up was because it was a lot cheaper uh, than trying to find a minty one. These things kind of go for like man close to like a hundred bucks if they're super minty. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, damage to this card back and everything like that. So uh, very very interesting. But obviously, like I'm not grading it. This is not graded material as you can see look at that look, look how bad that thing is that is pretty bad but the reason why i wanted to get it carded was to make sure that all the pieces were in there and of course the accessories and all that so i'm gonna bust this guy open and of course check it out so just give me a second all right guys so there is sage man a uh, very interesting very bulky figure but don't get me wrong i absolutely love this thing it looks absolutely gorgeous and i think it's gonna look really awesome uh i, I really want to display the you know obviously this is not the original one the original one did release in 1988 i think i made a mistake in saying bandai but it was actually takara that released it and of course you know this is the uh playmates uh version of it which is all plastic in 1995 uh release but you know just having these two is gonna look really awesome here we have obviously the 2020 version and here we have the 1995 version really awesome uh this thing you know obviously has his flaws one obviously being bulky as hell uh and then of course the uh armor piece is all kind of like pegged in or snapped in into these little divots or uh pegs right there so everything kind of snapped in and then they did something kind of interesting with this guy is that uh the joints are all spring loaded as you can see right there so getting this guy to pose is gonna be really odd uh most likely obviously i'm not playing with this and it's gonna be for the static you know displaying so pretty much all my warriors, uh, once I get them, they're pretty much going to be like this holding their accessories. Uh, and speaking of accessories, he does have his helmet right here, which looks pretty pretty dope actually it looks pretty nice uh and one flaw of this guy is that the helmet is a little bit loose as you can see it looks great you know what i'm saying it looks really badass but it is loose as you can say it doesn't really snap in uh but like i said i'm not playing with this you know what i'm saying like this is gonna be for display so i think it looks really really great and of course just like uh toys back in the day you do have their accessories all on this what's it call it uh, plastic tray here which is very interesting uh, obviously you do have to build this sword up to uh, this is part of the hilt right here and then obviously this is the blade uh, I guess you get an extra piece a little uh, ninja star there and then you do get another uh, or you get a knife there which is kind of interesting I don't remember seeing that in the show but uh, this so much reminds me of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because this is pretty much how accessories came in and it's so awesome to see this uh, so really cool figure and of course you do get the instruction manual here uh, telling you how to pretty much put all the armor pieces together obviously here is sage really cool i love the uh instructions on how to do like this pile uh, power power coil spring action and of course the uh warner warrior power grip that is pretty interesting and there's actually more in the back here which is nuts uh here is how to put their uh fighting feet together which is interesting how to do advanced uh, warner warriors power skills uh of course how to put the sword together and then of course here's is actually showing you how to do some moves with your figures which is kind of cool and it does tell you not to attempt these moves <laughs> so this is really awesome uh but like i said i mostly just got this guy just for displaying him uh with the uh modern version of the warner warriors and i just love this thing this thing looks really really badass like i said it has its flaws it really does i mean obviously it's not perfect and i don't think there's any perfect action figures out there but it's a really awesome piece and i just wanted to share that uh well, share this moment with you guys man so that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching thank you for subscribing and i will definitely talk to you guys in the next video